Today's story was written by Reddit user Captain Candy. Warning, do not, under any circumstances, attempt to fix a human mind. I'm sorry for not introducing myself, but first, the severity of this case warrants that. My name is Dr. Amelia. I am the head of the Central Galactic Psychiatric Hospital. As you know, we recently found yet another new race who the Galactic Council, in their infinite wisdom, decided we should uplift. Naturally, I requested this new race to send several of their mentally ill, developmentally disabled, or otherwise intellectually impaired to the facility, as well as a standard fully functional adult from their society, so we can become more familiar with their minds. Firstly, it must be stated that the minds of the humans are complex, unbelievably so. Where most sapients only need a few million interconnections in their minds in order to not only survive, but thrive, in their native homeworld environment, humans need far more. Orders of magnitude more, in fact. Let me give an example. I'll use myself for it. I have about 300 million different connections within my own mind, and a few tens of billions of possible interconnections and variants. This excessive number of connections has given my race the ability of psionics. We can read minds, move the world around us with them, and peer into the psyche of other races in order to repair their mental states. This is why my race runs the Central Galactic Psychiatric Hospital, and has done so for generations. This is already a large outlier example of connections in the mind of a sapient within the galactic community. As you know from your galactic standard education, no doubt, this means that most races in the galactic community have some underlying processes in the brain that helps it run itself. Some mechanism that allows us to feel emotions, that our empathy, sense of justice, right and wrong all come from. A device within our minds that balances the instincts programmed into us for generations with the new sense of self that comes from higher thinking, math and reasoning. However, humans. They make our minds look like underdeveloped second-rate computers. They have, as a baseline, a fecking baseline, a hundred trillion interconnections and 86 billion neurons. Why? Why would any sane species that hasn't ascended have that many? And that's not the worst part. The human brain has more possible interconnections than there are atoms in the universe. So naturally, the humans also have multiple mechanisms to control everything. I have identified no less than five so far. Three they told me of themselves, called the ID the ego and the super ego. They are roughly aware of these ones and told me forthright that they exist. The other two, one they are marginally aware of and the other they are completely oblivious to. One of these is an unconscious self. Yes, you heard that right. An unconscious self. Their minds are so complex that they have two sets of self within their minds. Well, because of the fifth mechanism, they actually technically have six. The fifth mechanism is that their brains have three parts. Yes, three major parts. The left hemisphere, the right hemisphere, and the central component. The left part of their brain, so far as the humans have figured, handles all logical and mathematical functions. The right part of their brain handles creative tasks like art and poetry. And the central part of their brain that takes in information from both sides is the truest self of the humans. In short, they have a logical self, an emotional self, and a rational self lodged between the two. I cannot even begin to go into how utterly insane that is. Oh, and don't forget, each self has a backup of itself in the unconscious instinctual parts of the human mind. How this species didn't just manipulate reality to let themselves be spacefaring gods was, for the longest time, beyond me. But this brings me to the primary point of this article. Do not, under any circumstances, repair the human mind. Ever. That is not to say don't heal the disabled or treat the traumatized. What I mean is more fundamental. 
because the human brains are so ridiculously complex. Once you give it the right nudge, unexpected events occur. Oh, and before I go too far, I should note, remember how I stated that my race was psychic because of our 300 million interconnections? Yeah, well, there are studies and experiments from Earth, the human homeworld, showing that they affect the world around them on as small as a quantum level and as large as an atomic level. This scale is so small, humans cannot even consciously control it, let alone train it. At least, they couldn't before. Why can't they do a larger scale if their minds are so complex, I hear some of you ask. Well, that's because they would have to paradoxically focus too hard. A level of concentration their split mind didn't allow them to have. They would have to focus this energy that is so condensed and powerful and spread out that it is affecting the quantum scale particles up to a micro scale. Focusing that much power to cover such a large area intentionally would fry the brain of even the previous most powerful psychic to exist in the galaxy in a picosecond. Now to the part where I might have screwed up and why I'm placing this warning here for all staff and even public members to see, except humans. I am bio-encoding this article so only non-humans can read it. Anyway, the part where I messed up? So that first batch of humans got here and I examined the mind of the healthy one first to get an understanding and baseline. Well, just looking at his mind, unaware of how ridiculously complex it was, knocked me out cold for three days. Once I woke up, I spent another day to recover before continuing and examining the human's mind again. This time though, I did so very slowly and very carefully. Once I realized how complex it was, I knew this would be no small task. Finally, after several months of grueling work, I managed to map out and fully understand all parts of the human mind. Once this was done, I repaired the other humans easily enough. All trauma, disability and improper connections in the brain fixed in less than an hour each. It was simplicity itself because the unconscious selves helped me. Yes, helped me. This should have been a glaring red alarm like a hypernova for me, but I shrugged it off and continued as normal. Then I had the brilliant idea of, hey, what would happen if I unified the brain of that healthy human and made him whole and able to use all parts of his mind consciously and singularly? That is, after all, how the rest of the galaxy works right now. Thanks to my race uplifting everyone millennia ago, how stupid I was for doing this with a human though. I cannot even begin to describe. It was easy. Too easy. The unconscious self was all too happy to become a singular part of the conscious self. Once that happened, the ID, ego and super ego all cascaded into place and the entire human's mind rewired itself so there was no difference between left, right and center. The human was comatose for nearly a year before waking up, but upon doing so, its eye changed. It was like a totally different person, yet exactly the same. It got up and thanked me for opening its eyes to reality, and then it waved its hand and opened a damned wormhole by tearing space with a thought. I didn't know where the hell it went, but I pray it didn't go to Earth to adjust every other human's mind. If it didn't, then I leave this memo for all future generations to never, ever repair a human mind again. If it did go to Earth, in order to awaken all the other humans though, I personally welcome our new machine-like psychic overlords. End of medical log by Dr. Amelia, final head of the Central Galactic Psychiatric Hospital.